I'm afraid to say it, boys. We got her stuck, dude. We can't get her out. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue working on our world's biggest forklift. And as you've seen in the previous video, we fully maintenance this thing. So this thing is ready to work. And one of the very first things that we want to do is actually pick up our old forklift. That sucker is super heavy, but it is immobilized. So let's just go ahead and fire this thing up and see what it's got. Also, it has been raining on and off, so the ground is super sketchy right now. But you know what? We're going to just go ahead and send it. Dude, yeah, it's very sketchy. Hopefully, I mean, only this side is spinning. I wonder if it's a limited slip or what is it? Probably just if one side spins, the other side's gonna stay. You know what I mean? I wonder yeah. if if they are locked anytime or whatsoever. I wonder if there's a way you could lock it. Dude, if you could lock it, that'd be insane Probably because it would- weld that diff up real quick. Weld that diff, but yeah. then I guess it wouldn't be able to turn as good. You yeah, know what I mean? Kind of be like scraping really hard, but dude, that thing actually lifted it up with uh, little to no effort. I just barely pulled up on that stick, but I can feel that thing sinking right here. Hopefully we're not stuck as of right now. So let's, I guess, try to back out without that forklift on the forks, right? Yeah, maybe wait until it's a little drier to pull this up. Yeah, out. exactly. But right now we do know that it can probably lift this whole entire thing off because the heaviest yeah. part is the rear end. It just lifted up like candy. No problem. I think this thing weighs actually 10,000 pounds, which is uh, how many tons? Five tons, of course. Five tons, and this thing can lift up to 20,000 20 pounds. 20 tons, so it can lift up two of those, no problem. Yeah, no easy. So let's see if uh, I can back out of yeah, here, Yeah, hopefully dude. you can back out and we don't have to bring out the Ford or the GMC, the GMC or the Cummins to pull them on out. Maybe do a train and line them all up. Oh, we, yeah, we're not scared to get stuck around here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're stuck yet. Let's go ahead and actually uh, fire it up and see if we can get out of here. We're stuck, boys. We may be stuck. Ooh, we may be digging a deep. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I think you should cut it off. Turn it off. Cut that thing off, dude. I think we just got ourselves into a hole, man. Oh my good. Hey, this tire's going down too. Dang, dude, that ain't good. The rear end is super heavy and it's wet. Shoot. 450 time, dude. 450 time? Yeah, I think so. Dude, I didn't think it was actually going to get stuck that easy, but I mean, we kind of knew because it was wet, but you know what? We wanted... Hey, we had to send it at least, at least a little bit. We had to send I mean? a little bit. Now let's bring out some, some, some heavy, some more heavy equipment. All right, boys, so we just got the GMC first because it was just right in front of the line waiting to be put to work. You know what I mean? But we're going to go ahead and throw this big hook on here and see if we can pull that thing out. If not, we're going to have to bring the Ford, maybe even the Cummins, light them all up and pull that sucker out of here, dude. We're going fishing right now. Yeah, That's all I got to say. Fishing in the mud. Dude, she's getting more and more stuck right now, dude. We can't fool around with it a little too long because I think we need to just go ahead and do the Ford as well. Oh, I do not want to bottom out. Dang. Yeah, once you bottom out, that's 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 bad luck right there, man. I don't think you'll ever come out of there. You know what I mean? Dude, this is sketchy, but yeah, the the, the, the Duramax is doing some work, but dude, he's just spill, spilling all fours, just <laughs> throwing dirt and everything. I think we need to just line the Ford up. And if anything, line the Dodge up, you know what I mean? We but need I, three people though, there's only two of us. But I can drive, I'll put this one in drive and then I go put that one. <laughs> so I'm thinking we start that one up and leave it in neutral. Yeah, leave it in neutral and uh, just me and Be you just try to pull it Because it out. doesn't make any sense just hitting that throttle and sinking yeah, it like it's that. It's really not doing anything, you know what I mean? But yeah, let's go ahead and pull up the, the, the big gun, the big boy, the big you know what I mean? Let's do it, dude. I'm afraid to say it, boys. We got her stuck, dude. We can't get her out. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I'm thinking though, we may even have to get a semi out here 
or we could probably start up the Cummins and do three in a row and also have somebody in the lift as well. Because yeah, because both of these trucks are actually actually spinning all four and you're digging in the ground a little bit. But this this part right here of this ground is actually pretty sturdy. It's just right there on this right side is where the dirt is actually really soft. That left side over there is actually not that bad over there. It's not even sinking on that side. Yeah. Over here, it sunk about a about a foot and then it yeah. just stopped sinking. I guess it, it hits that payload. You yeah, know we mean? need somebody in the, we don't have nobody, to, we don't have a third wheel right now to actually get in there and uh, give some gas. Yeah, so I, right, guess, I guess we just attack it tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to have to attack it tomorrow. Probably go ahead and dig this out a little bit more and just see if we can get out. So we're going to have to catch you guys in the morning. All right, guys. So it is the next day. We finally got some help here. So let's go ahead, give it another shot and hope we get this sucker out. Dang, son, so we finally got it out. Look at that hole that it dug. Dude, that Deep thing is hole. crazy. Hey, I'm surprised I actually pulled it out with it being wet because it did kind of rain overnight and got a little bit soggier, but dude, with that third person right there giving full throttle. Oh, he, was, yeah. he was on them throttle twisties, man. Spun it all the way out right here. Dang, son, this thing got filthy, dude. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're going to wash it after this, dude, because we might just do a second attempt because, I mean, this truck kind of pulled it out pretty easily with that third person right there. So if we get stuck again, I mean. Hey, we're not going to give up. We're still learning a lot about this uh, lift right here. And you know what we should have done? Yeah. We should have extended that boom and actually pushed Pu off the pushed forklift. Pushed off the forklift. That's what I was thinking. I was like, dang, we should have did that last night. Just, I wonder if it would push the forklift or I wonder if this thing is strong enough to actually push this thing out. You know what I mean? I don't know. We should have just gave it a shot, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We already oh, got Oh, no, out. we couldn't actually do that because we were so close to the forklift that it'd just be pushing. Or oh, that could have worked, pushing it from the bottom of the forklift. Yeah, you know so there's I mean? no telling. We, but, you know, as I just mentioned, we're still learning a lot. But as of right now, how do you want to try this I, again? I think we need to just turn this thing around, back it up over there where the dirt is a little bit harder and get it from that angle. And that, there's like a tree over there. So there's roots up in the ground. So hopefully we don't get stuck there. And I mean, just look at it, dude. We're already sinking right here. And this is some tough ground, dude. This thing is just, <laughs> this thing is just too heavy, just dude. Just a behemoth, dude. Yeah, behemoth. But anyways, let's go ahead and actually pull these trucks out of the way, turn this thing around and give it another shot. sucker out here dude i'm surprised we actually got out of there with this piece of heavy equipment right here dude this thing is weight what did you say like 10,000 pounds? 10, pounds i thought you were about to say piece of junk <laughs> it is a piece of junk because this thing is just it's done dude the, the transmission is done in it i know that a lot of people are like they can probably save it i don't know dude we could not find parts with for, for nothing with yeah, this thing exactly you know what yeah I mean? so, and i think it went out of business to be honest with yeah, you but, woo, whatever this brand is but what do you think we need to do to it just scrap it that's what i was thinking dude we just take it to the scrap yard because i mean it doesn't do us any good just sitting in the backyard sinking. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the stuff that we need, like the forks and anything else that we really, that we can actually put to use later on. But other than that, we'll probably just go ahead and just scrap this thing right here. All right, so before we actually tear this thing apart and get it ready for the scrap yard, we actually contacted a few buddy of ours that actually work on heavy equipment. So maybe they'll want to take this off our hands before we get rid of it for pennies on a dollar. So we're just going to set this sucker aside. But for right now, we're actually going to move on over here. As you guys know, we built a beautiful fence. First time ever building a fence. And we actually did a pretty dang decent job. But right Right now, we're actually going to move on and try to build a gate here. We do have a bit of a problem with people pulling in while we're working, and it's just becoming a bit of a nuisance. I wish we can talk to all of you guys because we love you. But right now, we're actually going to put some, uh, what kind of skills would you call this? Um, 
put a post in the ground skill <laughs> put a post in the ground first thing that we're gonna do is actually run to a local metal yard because whenever you're building a gate shouldn't they be metal right yeah definitely i think some nice metal posts because it's gonna be a pretty heavy gate right Yeah, pretty heavy gate with probably an opener who knows so i mean this is our first time doing a gate we did a fence I the, mean, yeah the reason we're doing this is because you know we got some pretty expensive stuff here we got security cams let me show you guys an awesome security cam footage right now So Pops definitely thought that was hilarious. But anyways, this is definitely gonna give us a little bit of extra privacy and security. So let's go ahead, run around to a few stores and see if we can get some supplies. All right, so we are here at the steel yard. As you can tell, we got all sorts of steel here, but we found our beams, $600 worth of beams. These right here, this was a 20 foot beam cut in half. So that makes two 10 foot beams and this is nice and solid. Now we're actually gonna run to the store and see if we can find some heavy duty hinges. All right, so we made it here to Walter A. Wood, our local hardware company, because they got literally everything, but apparently not what we're looking for here because they do have some heavy duty weld on hinges. Um, we were possibly thinking about this, but then we're, again, we we're trying to ask what the weight capacity is because if we're building this thing out of metal, you know, even the gate itself, it's probably gonna be a couple hundred pounds, you know what I mean? Exactly, but what'd you find online? These are the exact ones that I was trying to look for right here. These are actually made for gates and I found them on Amazon for like, I think they're like $76, but they're actually called bolt on gate and post coated, you know, hinges. And they have, you know, you can uh, grease them up, grease them up and everything. That's exactly what we need. These look like they're going to be like for the inside. They'll probably easily rust or something like that. But anyways, we'll probably order these later right now. Where do you want to go? Uh, probably. What do you want to grab an auger or what? I don't know how we're going to dig these holes. And that auger did save us a lot of time. So what do you say? Catch them guys at the Home Depot. Let's do it. That's right, boys. What are we building, man? What do we got over here? Well, what are we getting? <laughs> we're getting something out of this little cage area right here. We're actually getting an auger. I don't know if it's called an auger. It's some sort of different device. But it's, it's, a, it's an auger, but it's just like a powerful one than what hole, we use. Hole digging device, but we also got some quick creek. This stuff is going to set in an hour. So. Oh, yeah. No foam here. This is actual concrete. And we got a, a little electric mix with, mixer, whatever you want to call it. And it's a wheelbarrow at once. Check that out. That's nice. So I guess uh, let's load everything up, hook everything up, and we'll catch you guys back to the house. Let's do it. Man, that groundhog is working us. But really, it's honestly just this clay. There's some rock and some tough stuff in here, but we got our pickaxe, got our steel beam. I don't know what you call that, but it's getting through these rocks and all that good stuff. And we got two feet. That other side should be a lot easier. So let's go ahead and use it on that side too. So now that we got the posts in the holes, now it's time to get them nice and level and set, sitting on their own. And the only way I could think of that is bringing in a ladder and a hammer, probably hammering it into the ground, or we can bring in our forklift and actually apply some pressure. Maybe they'll just sink right in. So let's go ahead, drop off the old forklift and bring in the new one. So that actually went as planned. The posts actually went straight into the ground, the perfect height, and they're all leveled. Now it is time to actually crack some bags of concrete open, mix them up, and pour in these holes.
is right, boys. We got some umbrella holders built here, but really it just started raining on us. But we're gonna leave them up there anyways while the stuff cures. As of right now, we're gonna go ahead and return all of our rental equipment and we'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. All right, so it is the next day here. Now it's time to start building our gates. We did some rough drawings and some measurements. You know what, we're not engineers, but we are YouTube certified. So let's just go ahead and run to the metal yard and grab some more metal. All right, so we are back at the steel yard. We went ahead and got 120 foot of 14 gauge two by twos. And I think we're ready to head back. All right, so we just did a bunch of measurements and also we did cut a bunch of metal and you're probably wondering what the heck is going on. We're actually building a double swinging gate instead of a single swinging gate because I think it's gonna look a lot better. It is gonna be a little bit more challenging, but heck, it's just pretty much two big gigantic metal doors. I think we can handle it. So the next thing is to pretty much break out the welder and start welding our frames together and hopefully we got these measurements right. That's a heavy duty one right there. This thing is crazy looking, dude. It's like a bear cage, whatever you want to call it. It's a shark cage. You can go into water and just, you know, fight the sharks or they can't even get to you. When right we're there. done with this gate, I don't think you'd be able to even drive your car through this thing, man. We might have to test the cop car, see if it gets left with some frame damage. Yeah, not this frame damage. Definitely a car frame damage. Definitely on your car. But you know what? Look at all these welds. Did have to put a ton of welds, oh, right? Oh, yeah, but they're nice dimes. They're nice and stout. But, anyways, we are finally done. It did take a good bit of time. But right now, let's go ahead and actually bring all the pieces to the second gate and weld them up before it gets dark. All right guys, so we finally got both gates welded up, but it did get super late on us. So we're gonna have to catch you guys in the morning. All right, so it is the next day here. Check this out, guys. We finally found some super heavy-duty hinges. This right here, I think, is called a barrel hinge, and it's also greasable, and there is a ball bearing on the inside, and this sucker right here can hold up to 1,000 pounds, which is insane. It's going to be plenty of weight that it's going to hold, and we are going to weld these suckers directly to the post and the gate. So let's just go ahead, break out the welder again, and get these suckers welded. Check that out, dude. We got our very first door mounted and it turned out absolutely amazing. Got the hinges welded in and greased up and it articulates perfectly. This sucker weighs about 250 pounds and it didn't sag at all and we are gonna add a little bit more, I think. I don't know what we decided on this fascia yet. Maybe some bamboo, some wood or something. Some diamond plate or something Ooh, like that, dude, dude. Diamond plate. We're definitely gonna figure something out, but let's just go ahead and move on to this other side and knock it out as well.
All right, so we just knocked out both gate doors and it turned out absolutely sick. It looks good as it is, but we're probably gonna go ahead and pick out our fascia. I'm thinking we're probably just gonna go with like the same wood as the fence, that way it just matches. And also we're probably gonna grab some paint so we can paint this entire frame and the post, that way it doesn't rust anymore. So let's just run to the store and grab what we need. All right, guys, so we got 30 of these uh, wooden planks, whatever you want to call them. We've got some paper towels, got four cases of water and some other supplies because around here stuff is kind of running dry, so might as well get it while we can. So let's go ahead and load everything up and head back to the house. All right, so we are back, and the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and scuff everything. Then we're going to wax and grease remove it and throw some paint. So we got the entire gate scuffed down and wax and grease removed. Now it's time for some paint. We only got four cans of this stuff, but I think that should be enough. So let's go ahead and spray the sucker down and get it rust protected. All right, so the entire gate is finally painted. Looks pretty dang good as it is. That looked really good probably on a modern house without the boards, but it is now time to finally apply some of these boards. And what we're gonna use to fasten them is actually just some self tappers right here. This should do the trick, they're long enough. So let's just go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. We are done with our gate, other than the openers that we're gonna throw on later. But as of our first gate, we're super happy with the results. Let us know if we could have done anything better. We always like to learn along with you guys. But let's move on to our massive forklift here. We got some pretty big plans for it. I know a lot of you guys are enjoying it and we're learning so much in the process, but this thing is definitely gonna get a pretty sick paint job. So drop the comments down below what color we should paint it and let us know anything else that we should do to it. So guys, that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram. And if you want to help support your boys, be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy some merch. We just restocked on the Dang Sun t-shirts. These suckers always sell out quick, so be sure to copy one and help support your boys. So with all that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.